it's Captain Redfeather again. It's day two of Kids Pirate Days. And today, you're gonna hear a pirate song, you're gonna hear a great story about how a captain got a pet, and you're gonna learn more about knots, which is a good thing because they're really important. So welcome to Kids Pirate Week here at Ladysmith Marina. And um, my name is Michael Clark, and I'm gonna do a couple of songs for you. And the first song is called The Imagination Song. Now, I wrote it about using your imagination to be anywhere you want. So, since it's Pirates Week, why don't we do one about being pirates? All right. So, what I've done earlier is I've recorded the music, the guitar, and the bass, and some drums. And I might play my sax a little bit later. So. The song basically goes like this. as pirates, why don't we use our imaginations to get there? All right, ready? Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. This is good. All right, I think we're ready to sing the song. Here we go. Now there's a million things in my mind I can see. Just close my eyes and visualize a place to be Like a pirate on a pirate ship at sea Feeling the breeze of the open air And searching for treasure with a treasure map Anchors dropped, land ahoy Off we go on an adventure Searching for buried pirate's gold Using our imagination all right, that's great. Okay, so now I guess we're, we're seeing the island and we better go search for treasure. Here we go. Now there's a million things in my mind I can see. All I do is close my eyes and visualize a place to be on a pirate's treasure hunt far at sea. 30 paces from the old oak tree. 20 north from the turtle shell Walk on the log Careful don't fall Climb up the hill, jump over the shrub Treasures behind the willow tree Using our imagination Wow, I think I better play my sax after that one Almost fell off the log Take this home. Whoa. Now there's a million things in my mind I can see. All I do is close my eyes and visualize a place to be on a pirate's treasure hunt far at sea. Now digging for pirate's treasure can be fun, but now the islanders have us on the run. Back to the ship. Anchors away, hoist the sail, there she blow, army matey, here we go. Yes, it's my imagination, yes, it's my imagination, yes, it's our imagination. Ahoy, mateys, and welcome to Storytime. Get nice and comfortable and get ready for a great pirate story. 
The story today is how Captain Redbeard gets a pet. Now a long time ago, there was a pirate ship full of pirates, and these pirates all had, well, wonderful pets to keep them company. Some had rats, some had cats, and some even had monkeys. But poor Captain Redbeard, he had no pet. So the crew decided it was time to get him that special, special friend. Well, said the pirates, what should we get him? I don't know. They looked high, they looked low, and in the ocean below, they invited an octopus to come on board. Hmm, do you think he would make a good pet? Well, after a while, the octopus settled in, but made everything very slimy. <gasps> there was water everywhere, and it was very hard to swab the deck when it was all squishy and slimy and wet. They thanked the octopus very much, and they sent him on his way. They pulled up their anchor, and they sailed into another bay. There's a farm, said one of the pirates. Oh, oh, please, 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 said the pirate. One of my favorite animals in the whole world is a cow. They talked to the farmer and asked him if they could borrow the cow to see if he would be a great pet for Captain Redbeard. Well, that cow was kind of okay. It was great having milk in their cereal every morning. But that's all he did. He sat there and chewed his cud and simply stared. Hmm, not a great start to the pet adventure. They thanked the cow very much and sent him on his way. And they began to sail away into another harbor. They looked high, they looked low, and behold, they found a harbor with a zoo. <gasps> Said one of the other pirates, oh, 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 one of my favorite animals lives there. Please, please, can we have a pet elephant? <gasps> of course, think about it. An elephant on a pirate ship? No other pirate ship has an elephant. Please, please, please. So they talked to the zookeeper, asked if they could borrow the elephant for a little while. Well, that elephant was way too much fun. It was great getting cooled down by his splashes all day long, but there was one small problem. He was just a little bit too big. After a while, the boat started to tip this way and that, and the pirates began rolling into everything. Well, said the pirates, not a great choice. So they went back to the zoo, took back Mr. Elephant after a very big thank you and a goodbye and they sailed off into the ocean to see what they could find next. They landed on an island, oh, and after being so very, very hungry for lunch, they began to look for treasure. What is that sound? said the captain and the pirates. Ah, treasure. Oh, what was that? And again. Ah, treasure. They looked high and low and noticed that out of one of the trees, a parrot. Well, that parrot took one look at them, flew down to the captain, and nuzzled right on his shoulder. And not only that, but nuzzled into his neck. Ah, uh, treasure! Well, according to the pirates, what more could you ask for? A parrot that knows where treasure is hidden? They invited the parrot to come and sail the seas, and now Captain Redbeard had the best pet and a friend indeed. Thank you, Mr. Parrot. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your story. I'm Captain Laffy, by the way, from Ladysmith Family and Friends, and I hope that you and your mateys and your pets go on a lot of adventures. Ahoy! Mateys, how do pirates know they are pirates? Well, they think. Therefore, they are! <laughs> Well, kids, I've been practicing. Let's see how these knots get used. We're on the docks at Lady Smith Maritime Society, and behind us we have the beautiful vessel, a Coastal Messenger, which is a converted workboat. Now is a lovely uh, private yacht, and we're going to have a practical application. This is a fender. It's meant to fend boats off a dock or some other surface that can damage it. 
So these have to be hung by a line from some point on the boat. So the first thing we have to do is attach the line to the fender. Now I think a knot that would work nicely for that would be the, how about the round turn and two and a half hitches? That's exactly what that I was, was thinking. That was coming to mind. I, okay. Yes. So how about doing that for me? And let's leave as much lazy line as possible. Okay. okay. So this is the working end and the, this is the lazy end. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. So then we go in ways. Like there you go. Now we want this one to be pretty long. Okay, is okay there 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 that that's that's nice. And now the two half hitches. Yeah. Okay, bring that through there. This one goes straight. Take this okay. little one through there. Okay. Right. Okay, there's one half hitch. And then do it again the same direction. No, same direction. There you go. Okay, and then form the knot. Okay. Then we go to tie it to the boat and whoops whoops the line is too short ah we know a trick for that don't we we have a knot for that okay so Josie perfect job okay now Selena yeah what knot do we tie now to, to add line to this we would call that maybe the uh, sheet sheet band yeah. the double sheet yeah. band okay so I'll hold this Okay. And you do the weaving, okay? Okay. Okay, there. And there's a single. Go, no, no, we'll go around the same direction. That's it, that's it. And then you just sort of form it up like that. Pull it tight, everything tight, pull there. Okay, now we've made this line longer. Oh, jeez, look at that. Magic. Okay, now it's long enough. Okay, see how it can come down and protect the boat. So the next knot to attach this, Kennedy. Come on. Okay, I'll pull the boat over a little bit. Why? Oops, it's over as far as it's going. That's okay. Okay. Now. Cross over. You're making it more difficult. Oh. That's it. Just go under the crossover. That's all you have to do. Oh, you're you come under, under, under there. <laughs> okay, you're you're real close. Okay, here, this way. I'll just watch this. Get your finger out of there. There, under there. Oh, shucks. There you go. There, it there is. you go. <laughs> there. And then one little trick. If you want to lock it after you adjust the length, and you want to lock it. You can just put a little half hitch in there. Oh, there now. Wow, it's a there you go. So we've got a round turn of two half hitches down there. We've got a double sheet band. <laughs> right. <laughs> solid. And we have a clove hitch and we threw a lock in. Okay. Ladies, well done. Yay! Yay! Okay. I did it. So kids, remember you can find the instructions and the line in your RBC package. So have fun, practice, and go out there. Ugh, shiver me timbers, I've got a riddle for you. What do pirates like to eat when they're on a desert island? Well, sandwiches, of course. And what is a pirate's favorite kind of fish? Mmm, I'll give you a clue. It's shiny. What's that? Yes. It's a goldfish, but just don't stick it in your pocket. Now, go on, swab the deck. Well, kids, that's it for today. I learned a lot, and I hope you did too. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for another great show.